What's up guys? Welcome to SF 911 RS. My name is John and we got a killer vlog for you guys today. I just smashed chest, had a crazy push day up at the gym right now. And we're going to check out a gym location for my own gym. I don't want them to hear that because I don't want the gym owners knowing yet. Shh, shh. And we're also specking out my wife's brand new Turbo GT Cayenne 2024. Let's go. We're gonna go to Sawgrass right now. It's actually right above Weston. It's right where I-75 and 595 meet, just like Weston, but it's about five minutes north. This place is fully AC'd, which is the biggest benefit, I think. It's fully AC'd. It's a little bit smaller than the last location. I think it's about 4,000 square feet, but I think it's just big enough to handle everything. All right, guys, so we're checking out another location here in Sawgrass, Florida. Five minutes from the other location. Oh, look, it's a Porsche, it's a Porsche. That's a good good luck sign, 911, right? Um, yeah, the second location we're checking out right now. It's about 5,000 square feet, 3,000 smaller than the last one, but this is all AC'd, fully built out. All right, guys, so we're checking out the spot for the SF Recovery Center, Sigma Gym. This is gonna be awesome. We're looking at this location right now. It's got four offices in the front, which I'm gonna use for recovery, and then a full warehouse in the back. I don't think it's open right now, but we're gonna get the best shots we possibly can. Let's check it out. We're looking right now at parking. It's a little tight up in the front, I don't know. So the concept for this location is split half and half between wellness and fitness. I'm not just trying to do a one-sided thing because recovery is so essential on top of training. And it's not only essential for training, it's essential for everyday life and just the amount of stress and, and beatings we do on our body every day, especially as we get older, guys. I'm now 40 years old. And man, I could tell you, when I hit 30, I felt different. And then when I hit 40, I felt a lot more different. So you gotta be taking care of yourself, both in and outside the gym, doing the right things for health and longevity and your strength and, and to be there for your family later on. So the front location, this opens up to this main kind of area right here. I was thinking about putting couches, TV on that wall and making this kind of a chill recovery area have some boots, and compression boots, and stuff like that in here, and a bunch of other stuff that other places definitely don't have. And then there's an actual office there, and another two offices back there are also gonna be used for the recovery. And then this leads straight back into the warehouse, which is gonna be the fitness gym area. Gonna have the nicest equipment, guys, some stuff that people have never, ever seen before. I know it because I've seen everything and we're gonna have some of the best equipment straight from Italy, handmade stuff, quality like a Ferrari. So I can't wait to bring this to you guys. We're just picking out the perfect location right now, so stay tuned. The biggest reason not to be here would be this thing. I don't know if you can see it, right? We'll drive by it. But this is like a poop plant. It's a water plant, but it smells like poop. So I'm guessing it's like a sewage toilet, right, plant. And they clean the poop there. Filter it into your water. Right, <laughs> rah, rah. into your air when you're working out, right? Forget about that, man. I looked at this one spot, um, but it was like, oh, I don't even know, 40,000, 50,000 square feet or something, you know? It's an it's a old um, that was the like the grocery. supermarket, yeah, yeah. But it's like, if I could just cut off a piece of it, it would be perfect. But then that whole freaking supermarket, you know, it's like, and I don't even know how much it costs. You know, like that's, that's an investment, right? It's not like you're building an LA Fitness. No, no, exactly. I don't want to build an LA Fitness. Right, I, you, exactly, exactly. To build something that's not commercial, right? Exactly, you know? I mean, I'd never want it to even grow to that. You know, I'm capping it so it doesn't get too big, too crowded, too screwed up, you know? Yeah. How many members you 
I'm doing 50 to 100 is what we're really aiming for. And I'm trying to do like a pre-sale before we launch in 2024 for 25 members. And then the other pre-sale after uh, New Year's into 2024 in January or so after we figure out how that 25 members does this year. All right, guys, so we are specking out my wife's brand new 2024 Cayenne Turbo GT. This is the fastest SUV that Porsche makes. It supposedly drives like a GT car on the track, which I am absolutely ecstatic about and so stoked to try out, especially up in the Smokies and on the track and in the woods, because we are taking this thing off-roading. We're gonna get sick content of that for sure. Um, and this is also the Urus killer. I'm sorry if you own a Urus or a Urus Preferamonte, you spent too much money, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we've already specced this out. We've already ordered it and gone through that. I just wanna go through the spec again for you guys to show you what we've ordered and what's coming. So you're probably looking at it on the screen right now, right? Mm -hmm. So base, just white. We actually went with the Arctic gray color. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. It's on the new GT4 RS and GT3 RS. I think it's one of the launch colors for them, right? And it goes excellent from seeing those with these blue wheels. They're mag wheels, I think, on the other GT cars. I believe these are just normal type wheels, but that's cool, it's an SUV. So we're going with the blue wheels to match the Arctic gray paint, which has a little kind of blue within that gray. Got the yellow calipers, pops like crazy. And then what is new on this year's versus last year's is you can actually spec the interior with either Arctic gray stitching or a deep blue stitching similar to the wheels. So we went with the deep blue, which I think looks absolutely epic with this blue, with the carbon fiber. And then as you can see on the seats, it's got the blue stitching and the blue kind of navy blue seat belts. And it just matches the outside, epic. The one thing that sucks though, is that with this blue stitching, or even that, that Arctic gray stitching, you can only get 18-way seats. And because of that, you can't get the 18-way seats with the memory comfort control or the ventilated seats. So you cannot do AC or heated seats, which sucks because up in the Smokies, it gets cold and you want the heated seats. And then down here, it's incredibly hot and humid. So you'd want the AC seats. So it's not happening, but Car's more of a track car anyways, even though it's an SUV and it sounds crazy. Um, went with the black handles the wife wanted, the cap, I think we got under the door, puddle light projector, none of this crazy stuff. We got the back logo, gloss black, no livery, black logo in the back. We cleared out the back light, no heated windshield, there'll be no snow on this car. Um, we went with the thermally, thermally and noise insulated glass. Thermally, what a weird word. Um, the wife wanted it. She wants the car quiet if the windows are closed, I guess, if the baby's sleeping in the back, something like that. None of this extra stuff is needed with that blue package. Um, the crest is not needed. Really nothing else is needed after we've already specced the GT seats. So we went through all these things. We actually got the door sill. Is it on here? Just in black brushed aluminum versus the carbon. I think it's kind of crazy. You're spending 3000 bucks to step on carbon fiber and it's just gonna scrape my soul every time I do it. Um, did not get night vision. I don't think we'll need that. Uh, active parking, adaptive cruise control, and inno drive. We're gonna be using this to drive up to the Smokies a lot. So there's going to be times we're gonna want that active cruise control because it's about 10 to 13 hours up there and we're not gonna wanna constantly be having to drive. It's nice to just cruise. And uh, with that technology, car basically drives itself, not like a Tesla, but more than well enough. 
heads up display preparation for dash cam because every car we own now has a dash cam. Considering the Ferrari accident, I am not playing games. Um, soft closed doors, air quality, four climate control. You know, that's, and that's it. I think that's it. Audio. We got the passenger display. We got the passenger display, which is epic because that gives you a third screen. So basically the whole dash of this car is just three giant screens. It's gotta be epic, especially if you're riding shotgun. Uh, Burmeister 3D surround sound. And then we got the back uh, entertainment center for the kid. And that's it. Not that much more than the previous turbo GTs. Maybe about 10,000 more, I think, than the previous models, which is not bad considering Porsche has raised all of its prices up about six to 7% on all 2024 models. So yep, yeah, that's the wifey spec. I think she's gonna love it. She had a uh, Urus at one point. We thought it was too flashy. And she's been driving a Range Rover SVR for a couple of years now and loves it. So this is gonna be the evolution. All right, guys, so we're just wrapping up today. Had an awesome workout. Checked out another gym location from the new spot. I don't think it's gonna work out too well with the poop plan and the parking. And then uh, we uh, optioned out this Turbo GT for the wifey. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe. I'd, I'd appreciate that a lot. <laughs> and once again, this is John with SF911RS. Till next time, peace.